Hey guys, so I've just had delivery of my second Gusto box um, and I'm really excited so I'm going to check this one out. Last week we had a bit of a leakage with the soy sauce that was all sorted. I rang Gusto on the Monday and um, just said to him that it leaked and it had ruined one of our little recipe cards um, and they give us £3 credit on our account um, and said they were really, really sorry. Um, so I can't remember what I've ordered. But um, we'll have a little look now. This one seems much heavier than last week's one. Oh, it's like it. So what I have got, and they've got this. Oh, there's a chilli sticking out of it. So they've sent my um, recipe book. These are free, um, so you just add them to your, your order. So I'm going to pop my recipes in there from last week. So what we have got, we've got a chicken snitchel with tomato and basil sauce. So there's that one. I'm not sure if it's backwards or not. Yeah, so looking forward to eating that one. Looks nice. Um, our second meal that we've got is a big flavour beef lasagna. There we go. Kids are going to love that one because it's one of their faves. Then here we've got Cajun chicken burger with red cabbage slaw. Looks nice. On the picture it looks a little bit char grilled, but um, I won't do it as dark, I don't think. And then last we've got crispy chicken Singapore noodles. Again, this is gonna be a nice one. I think that's where the chilies are for. Um, yeah, so you get chili for that one. Let's have a look. We've got a bag of lettuce. Oh, how cute. We've got some noodles, some Singapore noodles. So we've got four portions of them because obviously there's four of us. We've got some tomatoes. Two packs of them. Um, lasagna sheet. What have we got here? Some Basil, some basil, some more basil, a bag of salad. Which one came with salad? We really enjoyed last week's box. Um, ow. Oh, sun tape's just stuck to me on. Um, so salad with the lasagna. That's when salad comes. In these cute little bo bags, box, in these cute little bags, you get all the stuff that you need. So this order says it's 2897, which is the um, snitchel chicken. That's Sydney just moving the tripod. Just got rid of her. Time's taking her to bed. It's a bit nap time. She's having an absolute meltdown. Um, yeah, so another little recipe. It's all in there. Everything you need is in there. Um, bits and bobs for recipe um, 113. Sent us two onions. Oh, actually, there's four onions, two chilies, cute little button mushrooms. So we've got two packs of them. I'll show, I'll show you guys actually. This is what the box looks like. And we've got all these bits in here. So we've got um, some green beans, some more mushrooms. Oh, is that mushroom? Yeah, more mushrooms. We've got brown mushrooms, chestnut mushrooms in that one. <laughs> we've got a massive pile of stuff here. Um, red cabbage. Then we've got some veg. Everything is just perfect because everything's weighed out. Everything is there that we need. So I normally just pack these in the fridge. So I'm just going to have it in this bit in the box. So I'm not sure if you can see. There's two compartments in the massive box. And this bit is the so-called fridge area. So here we've got one medium egg. So in this box, you've got an egg. Mm. So there we go. Two eggs in there. Let's put them there where they're safe. We've got some buns for the chicken burgers. What I will do when I go and get um, a few other bits, because obviously this only does four days. So this is boxes for four days for four people. I will grab another bun for Sydney. That is just a massive block of ice. Then we've got all um, the meat. So we've got plenty of chicken. So we've got um, four skin on chicken thighs. So there's eight of them. Um, 
There's four chicken breasts in there. They've all got really good dates on, so 11th of October. We've got, what's that, another two chicken breasts. And then we've got some beef. So two packs of beef. This actually goes quite far. We had this last week in the cottage pie and we were actually surprised. Yeah. Um, so you get 250 grams of meat in there. Um, and that's got to the 10th. So what we normally do, we'll look at the dates. Here, what else have we got? Oh, and then we've got the cheese for the top of the lasagna. Yeah. And then another, another pack of ice. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to chuck them back in there. Yeah. We'll go over the dates and we'll see what meat is going out first. Um, and obviously, we discussed with the kids um, which meal they want. So basically what we're going to do, we've still got a meal from last week. So we've still got... Just go to the fridge. So I always put them on the fridge. So we've actually got an extra special bangers and mash for lunch today. Um, what well, for tea? We'll have that a little bit later. Um, so we'll have today. We'll have tomorrow. We'll have Tuesday. Wednesday we'll cook something ourselves. Um, Thursday we'll have a gusto, and then Friday we'll probably have a takeaway. Um, and then again on Saturday we'll have um. Augusto. This week we were supposed to have we were supposed to have the bangers and mash yesterday, but we went to Costco and we had a massive pizza, so we weren't really feeling eating that. Um yeah, so really pleased with my second box and I will be linking in little clips of all the food over the week. So if you're interested in getting a gusto box, gusto, gusto, um not quite sure which one it is. Um if you're interested, then I do have a code. There's the code. I'll also put it down in the description. You will get 50% off your first order, and then you will also get 30% off the next um lot of orders. So I think you get four orders, so it's for the month. Um so what I would say is when you do your first order, I would order it at the start of the month and then you'll get your extra boxes at 30% discount but they're well worth it so I paid this week I paid £33 for this one last week it was 20 something and then when my code expires your codes won't expire but mine does um because obviously I've got the 50% off and then the four lots of 30% um so I've got I've already ordered the menu for next week next week I will order the week afters um and then it will be back to full price which is only 47 pound and i think 47 pound for the four meals is quite good because they're all weighed out the convenient is really convenient and i'm actually enjoying cooking again whereas before i just hated it not knowing what i was doing literally got cupboards full of of stuff but i just i either not put enough in or put too much in I cook everything on high heat and burn absolutely everything. Um, and I've got to say, last week's um, meals were delicious and everyone really, really enjoyed them. And there's some that we're definitely going to repeat. And I think what's good as well, on the menu cards, um, it tells you, so you need five grams of basil. So if you want to make this recipe and not reorder it, because if you reorder it, you're going to get another card, aren't you? Um, but I just think... You're building your own little recipe book of food that you actually enjoy. Um, so obviously we've already got the four cards from last week. I'll go over what I had last week. I think one of the cards is missing. Um, I'm not sure where it's gone. Um, so this was a favourite last week. So this was the chicken curry pie. Um, and this was with mustard greens. And everyone loved the pie. The kids weren't too keen on the mustard greens. Um, but I can replace that with another veg. This was definitely, definitely a, fa a favourite. And this would have easily fared six, maybe seven. And um, we had plenty left over and they had it for lunch the next day. Um, and then there was the... Oh, that's the one that got destroyed. It was the recipe card. I think it's down here somewhere. Um, I'll just have to try and find it. But it was the um, sticky chicken, soy, chi soy chicken. Um, and it was really, really nice. And the kids really enjoyed that. So I'm going to go and pop these in my little binder. Now, oh, I hate these binder things. Right, I'm just so scared that I'm gonna pop my fingers or something. <laughs> so I'm just gonna whack them in there, and then I'm gonna put the new ones in there. I think as well. 
I can get them out over time, can't I? But um, hoping to fill this with with good stuff. So there we go. I've got my first eight cards in there. So tonight we've got um, chicken schnitzel with tomato and basil sauce, as you call it, with um, potato cubes and rocket. Really, really simple to make and looks and smells delicious. Hey everyone, I'm just cooking tonight's Gusto box. So I'll just show you what we're having. So tonight we've got the Cajun chicken burger with red cabbage slaw. Bagged all the rubbish up in this tiny little bag, which is really, really good. Um, hoping this is going to look like this. So I've made the chilli mayonnaise and um, that is the cabbage and carrot slaw. And over here we've got the chicken. So this is the Cajun rub that's on top of the chicken. Excuse uh, the mess. So yeah, hopefully things turn out well. The last night the kids and us had um, the chicken snitchel with the tomato and basil sauce and we absolutely loved it. And we're definitely, definitely gonna make that again. Um, so looking forward to that one. But definitely looking forward to this one tonight. Um, it smells delicious. But here it is guys, the finished result, looking tasty. Hey everyone, so it is, let me think, day three of week two of our Gusto boxes and I've just picked out the big flavour beef lasagna. Um, it is quarter two um, in the afternoon and I'm going to cook this so later it's ready. Um, because what I'm doing, when I when the last child goes, because obviously I'm a childminder, um, at half five, I'm then cooking dinner, and then some of the meals are taking a good a good hour to cook, and obviously then it's getting really really late, and um, by the time we eat, so I thought if I prep this now, so I've got everything out that I need, um, and get it done while the kids are playing. And you can, it tells you everything that you get, so obviously you just double it for um for people, and then on the back you've got all the instructions so here we've got two packs of lasagna sheets four small blocks of cheese two carrots we've got some chestnut mushrooms there so we've got two packs of them we've got two brown onions and then we've got our mints two small packs of mints you get 250 grams Yay! in there then in this bag are all the little bits and bobs that you need for your recipe so i'm just going to open that and show you a bit of a close-up there so here we have it. So here is the tomato paste. We get two tomato pastes. There, excuse that noise, it's Sydney. We've got some garlic cloves. So we've got four garlic cloves. Some Henderson's relish. That's in that one before. Then we've got some balsamic vinegar. We've got some dried oregano. Another um, vinegar. And then we've got some stock cubes. So that's everything we need to make. Uh, our lasagna. Uh, Try to keep the mess down, not too much mess. There's a splatter there, never mind. Oh, and I made a carrot cake. <laughs> so here's the lasagna before it goes in the oven. I'm going to put it in, and then I think it says about 25 minutes before the end, um, pop some grated cheese on the top. Just dished up. I've got some of this floor left from last night, so I thought the kids and uh, David and me can have a little bit of that. Hey. And mine, David's, oh look at that, now it's all decorated. Lasagna actually smells delicious. I've just got some garlic bread that I picked up from Asda earlier, um, just as a little side extra. Because um, the kids don't like salad, do they? Um, yeah, so another thumbs up for us. So guys, I've just chopped the chicken up. I did a little bit overcook it. I decided to take the chicken skin off and then it's gone like that after I took the chicken skin off. And then we have the Singapore noodles. Looking forward to uh, eating this. It doesn't actually look like that. <laughs> but obviously I'm not a professional chef. Um, overall, it was really, really quick to make actually. And it's definitely, definitely going to serve more than four. But the honestly, I make so much mess. That's where the chicken was. Um, so much mess. But yeah, really, really enjoyed this week's... Got a bit of chicken there. Uh, this week's Gusto box. Can't wait for next week's um, week three. And again, I will share that with you guys too. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, my code is down below. So obviously you will get 50% off your first box and then 30% off for the remaining boxes for that month. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll use the code and enjoy.